Hey there, what's going on YouTube? Dalton with Dumpster Diamonds here, bringing on another What's Sold on eBay video for you. Uh, this is my fifth What's Sold on eBay video. Uh, this is a very new little section on my YouTube page. I uh, just uploaded the first four videos a week ago, and those represent October and November. I split them up each, they're each about a half hour each, um, and I put uh, probably about 30 items a piece on each video. Uh, so I got October, I got November done, you guessed it, it's December. I uh, just want to thank you guys for 100 subscribers, um, please hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and uh, let me know what, uh, what you guys want to see if these videos you want to see um, you know different things I, I I'm not sure I am just kind of really recording this journey of how I started dumpster diving and use that inventory to start an online store and now all kinds of stuff has happened I'm buying stuff from all kinds of different places to resell online and now I'm starting a whole new business on Amazon as well and I've Unfortunately, I, you know, haven't documented half the things that have happened. Uh, there's so much that's going on. I started showing a little bit more about how I got uh, really great inventory at garage sales, but that's tough to film sometimes. You know, I'm, I'm slowly getting better at this YouTube game, so I appreciate it. Um, anyways, without any more talk of the channel, um, I want to talk about what's sold on eBay. So. This right here is a huge score. Um, I got this mouse at a estate sale, an estate sale or a yard sale, I guess, whatever you want. It was an estate sale, really, because they were just getting rid of everything in the house that they're going to sell the house. And uh, this is the second time I've come across one of these um, Logitech optical trackman or trackball wireless or this one's wireless I, I've this is the first time I've come across a wireless before the last one I found it was a wired one and I had gotten that first one out of a dumpster and these guys were just throwing all this stuff away that looked pretty decent and I was at that time I was just going around to garage sailing and I asked them I was like what's going on and they you know they said they're clearing the house out and everything's getting thrown away so I got a chance to pick through the dumpster and um, the first time and I found one of those mop this one of these and these things go for crazy money you guys gotta check them out even if they're non-working which the first one I had I actually thought was working it seemed like it was but I didn't really check it good well enough it has all these crazy buttons on it and um, the first time I sold it it got sent back because he said that one of the buttons wasn't working so then I resold that original mouse I first sold it for like a hundred over I think over a hundred dollars and had to re had to return it give him the hundred dollars back that was a tough one biggest return I think I'd ever done at that time I, I can remember but then I sold it for as is for parts that the first one okay and I think I even sold the for as is parts for $70 these little balls right here are like 30 40 dollars just this little part if you you know have happen to find a mouse that's just completely trashed or something or just find the ball I guess you can just sell that this this one here I got it in a, a, a garage estate sale like I said for a dollar okay they didn't know what it was. They thought it was just a regular old mouse. And I guess they didn't know these aren't regular. These are $100 pieces of equipment here. A little, little electronic, I should say. But in this scenario, I only bought the mouse for a dollar. All right, I could not find this little station here. Um, I did buy a couple other electronic items from these people, but unfortunately I could not find this little thing here 
so I had to order this on eBay and I ended up he had it for sale for I say he you know I don't know, he or they <laughs> had it for sale for hundred and I'm sorry this little piece here the wireless um, station for your computer that, that you can plug into your yeah. that you plug into your computer um, they had it for sale for thirty dollars and I gave them I offered them twenty I believe and he took the offer and after I took this after I offered the twenty and just took it I think eBay then advertised to me a couple more of these and some of them were a little cheaper than that I think I could have even got it for maybe 15 bucks but oh well this one wasn't even really that good either um, as you can see it it had a bunch of scratches on it uh, really weird like I don't know how they must <laughs> you know maybe somebody found it in a dumpster I don't know it's this is kind of this is why I wanted to bring up this first item because it really had a, a an interesting story to it. I I really scored and got that piece for a dollar, and then I had to spend another twenty on this piece, so I spent twenty one overall. Oh, plus shipping, handling, so it was um, really cheap to ship. It, it's first class. I don't think it weighed over first class, so maybe four, three, four bucks. Um, so what do we have to twenty five bucks? Plus eBay fees, which are a lot since it was a hundred, so um, you know, probably cost me thirty dollars overall ish. And they spent a hundred and twenty one over overall, so um, almost a dollar into a hundred dollars. You know what I mean? That's the gist of it here. Great score. I did have to do a little extra work of buying the station. Oh, and I did test this one out. This one did work. I tried the buttons, the had less buttons, I think, than the, the first mouse that I found it. Um, still a lot of little buttons there, a little scroller. I had the trackball, uh, but at first when I plugged it in, it, it wasn't working. I was like, oh no. But it was weird, like eventually the computer just picked it up and it started working. I was like, oh, oh yeah, I got really excited. So got the sale on that. I uh, believe I got good feedback too. Dollar into a hundred dollars. Great, great score. This right here is a couple more of those lights. Um, if you, like I said, make sure you check out my previous videos first on what's sold on eBay because I talk about how I got a ton of Christmas lights at the Goodwill bins for like a uh, varied price. So you got to see that story, but um, I got, this is just a different kind of those lights. Um, I didn't, I only, I, you know, maybe I got like 20 of these, these General Electric ones. I think the other ones that I mostly got, the, like a crate full of them, uh, um, was like a Walmart brand or something. It was really generic holiday lights, I believe. But these ones were GE and I got, you know, maybe like 20 of them or something, or maybe less, maybe it was 10, I mean, it could have been. But I put them in lots here, and I also think I put them in single as well, but I think uh, it's it's good to point out that really try to put your stuff in lots, because you want to just make that fast cash, and I know I, I, I this has been a really big experiment for me because I bought hundreds of these lights and at first I only had them for sale individually and then I finally put a lot up of like five at a time and got some more sales then I put them up in a lot of ten at a time and then I really got some sales you know what I mean and I don't think I, I didn't do that with this because I didn't have like 50 of these General Electric ones I think I only had maybe ten or a couple more and uh, but I put them three at a time this um, there's one of, I got one left maybe, uh, we'll see, but sold them 12 plus 750 and I paid like 50 cents a piece on them, maybe, maybe a little more when you count, um, oh, I guess you can count, I had, I had to pay shipping and handling, so probably had, that was probably about eight bucks, um, so turning, what, two bucks, three bucks into 12 bucks, you know, quadrupling my money on this little deal. 
Um, that's what I'm looking for. Sometimes I do take deals on these, and um, that's something that you have to kind of decide at the time. Like, is it should I take the deal for a little less? Sometimes I take the deal if I know I got these for 50 cents or a dollar a piece, and I know I'm at least doubling my money. Then it's kind of like, well, I'm, you know, take the fast cash. But this, ideally, I want to try to at least quadruple it. If I, I might, you know, some. Maybe I'll hold out, but that fast cash is a lot more enticing. So, I don't know. Fast cash. Boom! Got the Bop It. Check it out. Vintage Bop It. Paid, oh man, I think $3 for this at a Goodwill next to me. And, uh, of course, had to test it out. It worked just fine. Um little bit scuffed up here and there but um, they paid for shipping and handling kind of a weird thing to ship I I can't remember how I shipped this thing I, I must have I think I had some thinner box or some rectangular box I could put it in and it didn't weigh too much so probably paid about six bucks to ship it and turning three bucks into 14 so that was a great little score. I thought these went for a little more. I'm, um, I think I might have listed it higher at first, and then slowly went down on the price on it. Cause I, you know, I heard from some of these sell for twenty or more. I, I don't know, but I'll have to look them up again. Still, three bucks into fifteen, I'll take it. Um, this is something I don't know if I've talked a lot about. Uh, I'm always at yard sales, estate sales, um, even Goodwills, I'm, I'm always checking for used remotes. Uh, definitely got to check out and make sure there's not a bunch of corrosion in these little battery compartments back here. That's that's like the biggest bummer when you find a remote you think's worth 10, 15 bucks and then you get home and you went to list it and it's just like the inside of it is destroyed. And uh, it's happened to me a couple times now. I really check those little compartments and uh, make sure it's not like super grody. But you'll find these all over. I mean, and you can get them for a dollar or less um, at garage sales. I've even I've even went to a state sale where they just had a box of them, and uh, you know, just make a, an offer on the box. You know, it's it's something you'll come across a lot, and they'll go for. You know they're paying for shipping on this one, and this one only went for seven bucks. I I probably only paid a buck for it, uh, but you can some of these will go for even more, maybe even the, the twenty dollar range. So definitely look out for used remotes and check those compartments. Uh, oh, this was a crazy little find. I um, dumpster dive find here. So. These are laminated little study guides. And I didn't even use my pictures. I just used one generic picture. I mean, I don't, you're not supposed to do that. Don't do that. But I was going to try to show you guys. These are just like, it's like a page or two or three long. And it's all laminated. And uh, there's a barcode on the back of it. And I scanned it. And these things are selling for a couple bucks. And I got these. I probably got a pile of 20 of these um, at, at, for dumpster diving at, at colleges when they were um, leaving in, in May. Uh, it's a huge score for me. That's honestly my like, it's like something I know is going to happen. It, it's, it's hard when you try to start dumpster diving because you, you want that rush, you know, but um, you don't know when it's going to happen, I guess, and you can't time it. And I, I know going into my maybe second year trying to experiment with this dumpster diving, I've tried to, you try to, you know, I don't want to be out there every night. I just want to narrow it down to the times when I have the highest probability of getting a, uh, a jackpot, you know. And it's so, it, it's, it's, it's almost like it doesn't work like that. I don't know, but this is not like that. I know every May for sure those kids are leaving college and their dumpsters are going to be out by the school and uh, 
I, I mean, this I got like 20 of these laminate things. I don't even think I even had to clean them up because they were probably shoved in an old notebook somewhere that they threw out. And I've been selling them for six to ten ish bucks a piece. At first, you know, if you guys are resellers, you have to let me know on this one. At first, I was trying to just put these in an envelope and ship them with like two stamps. But the problem with that is I couldn't do that on eBay because on eBay you have to upload a tr tracking number. And when you just, you know, put two stamps on something, you can't put a tracking number on it. So it sucked for me because two stamps only cost a dollar. So it would only cost a dollar to ship this thing. And I mean, I, I got the packing material for free. I, you know, I have some envelopes that I got for free dumpster diving a long, long time ago. But all I'm saying is, you know, instead of I have I have to have a tracking number for eBay, so I have to pay two dollars and sixty six cents media mail for this item just to have that tracking number. So it really takes a a large chunk out of that profit, half that profit, but. I like I, I got them for free. I even had, you know, there are a lot of them are different subjects, obviously, but some of them are copies. So like this one, you know, I could just have a listing, and it was uh, listing for two. So it was pretty sweet. I'm still selling. I still have some of those for sale. Um, it's not hard to store. You know what I mean? It just uh, I sold most of them though awesome little find and uh, can't wait till next May to do that again here we got Walt Disney's confessions of a teenage drama queen um, this obviously I did not make very much money on I probably I, I hopefully didn't pay anything for this I'm assuming I got it for free somewhere but I, I just wanted to bring it up just to kind of make fun of it because this is kind of an example of a kind of a bad picture. I, I do have, at least I did a dark background into a white background. I got a little corner here. <laughs> um, the lighting is terrible on it. I, I've since, um, I believe, gotten a lot better pictures. And I'll probably have some better examples. I'll bring them up later of some, a lot better pictures of how I do DVDs now. But this definitely was for sale forever. I'm. I must not have paid anything for it. I, I mean, at the most for a DVD, we'll just say 50 cents, and I had to pay 266 to ship it. So um, I don't know what I was thinking of. I, I honestly, I, I believe, was going to take this off soon, and uh, my next plan was to just collect as many Disney DVDs as I can, and a lot of, you know, 10, 15, 20 and then sell those that way instead of having to eat that shipping for each DVD I only have to you know instead of 10 times paying shipping that's one shipping and it's medium mail so it's super cheap so that's kind of my new uh, real you'll, you'll hear me talk about that a little bit I'm really trying to lot those together unless it's some kind of rare DVD that happens to be like 20, you know 10 20 bucks or more but for the most part, most of these DVDs, are all, no, nobody wants to pay five bucks or more for a DVD. So you got to lot them together. Helps with your time, right? Moving on. Uh, another one of these Lewis and Clark bags. This might have been my last one. I got a bag of these things for free. I can't remember if I got these at a Barnes & Noble or... I can't remember what where I got these from, unfortunately. But... Um, got four of them for free in a bag somewhere. They were all still new with tags. Listed them online. Not you know crazy profits. They sell. They they ship first class. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, ship for or ship for two dollars and sixty six cents plus eBay fees. So whatever I pay three or four bucks all together, and then I get five bucks profit and. I sold four of them, so 20 bucks for this listing here that I found for free. Awesome find. This right here I got at 
the, an estate sale, the same estate sale, I got that one wireless mouse that I got a huge score on. This she had, I added in for like a dollar, I believe I paid for it. Um, I had the customer pay for shipping, and yeah, that's more than shipping actually. Um, and they paid six ninety five for it, so dollar into seven dollars, even more dollar into like maybe eight dollars. You know, I guess there's eBay fees, whatever. Um, still, eight x my money. <laughs> uh, boom, we got. Winnie the Pooh, I got this at a garage sale for a dollar or two. Um, sold it for $14.85 and $4.95 shipping. Uh, it says two sold. I think the first one, I sold one of these. Oh man, I hate this. If you're an eBayer, comment below on this if you hate this. But I hate it when somebody on eBay buys, it says they bought your product, but then they didn't pay. So I don't I don't understand how that happens really, but I guess they clicked on it like buy it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, anyways. But after I had to hold this item for like a week or so, trying to message them once or twice, saying, you know, I need a payment still before I can ship it out. And then they said that finally they reached back to me and they said they could they didn't want it or something. I can't remember. And I had to relist it and sell it again. So just took a while to sell is what I'm saying lame little story here but still paid a dollar or two for it uh, maybe three at the most I can't remember it wasn't too much but um, made a good money back even though I had to deal with extra extra <laughs> uh, lameness yeah comment below if you if that's happened to you when I hate it when people buy products and then they don't pay for them. It's, it's just the worst. All right, moving on. Another dumpster dive find. I had seven boxes of these calendars. All right, not just sports calendars. I mean, seven big boxes that, I, you know, I have to have two hands to carry. Not, you're not, you know, extra, extra large boxes. I mean, just large enough that I need two hands to carry one box of these calendars, little desk calendars. And I've obviously had them since the end of 2017, and it's now 2019, and I still kept a couple of these on the eBay store. I honestly didn't, I honestly took off most of them. I, I sold a lot of them. I'm down to two boxes out of, I had seven boxes of these calendars, big boxes. Now I only have two boxes left, and I was selling them. In 2017, I was selling them for still great money. I mean, it was weird because they got rid of them pretty early. Like, I want to say it was mid-2017. Unfortunately, I didn't document that very well. It was right at the beginning of my dumpster diving journey, and I hit that score, seven boxes of these calendars, and I, I've just been selling them even after 2017. I, they did get rid of them early, like I want, like I said, but it's 2019 now, and I'm still selling them. I mean, not just sports. I, I got, you know, like Jeff Foxworthy uh, desk calendars, and for some reason, those that's like my hottest seller. You know, and luckily I had like 15 of those because those have, you know, I've, I've made. I've I only had like two or three left on that one. You know. I thought about even sending a couple out to Amazon because they they're still brand new. Some of them, you know, obviously were damaged and whatnot, and I still have two boxes left of them, and I'm really trying to figure out what to do with them. If you guys have an idea, uh, comment below. My my idea was try to advertise selling a couple of them at a time and saying. My plan was to make the posters out of them, but um, I just don't have the time anymore. So if you want to make posters out of certain, you know, this one would be sports events in in a year or something in the count. I, you know, in a big po I, This is kind of a bad example, but um, you know, like the Jeff Foxworthy one, it, it, you can make a poster out of that because it's all just his jokes. So you know, put 50 of his jokes on a poster and his face on it. You know, and 
maybe resell it, I guess. You know, I, I guess it's 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 just an idea I had. I don't know. If you guys have an idea of what I can do with the last two boxes of these calendars, instead of letting them slowly sell for a dollar a piece, you know what I mean? I, I have to pay for shipping and handling and eBay fees, so um, I'm, I'm really making less than a dollar a piece. I, I still kept them in the store because they still are selling in 2019, but um, I still have two boxes and I'd really like to just get rid of them. I don't know if I, if I should just list them all as is, like here's here's 50 mixed calendars or here's you know I still still have all these like cat calendars so I almost wonder I have I honestly did lot together I forgot about this I I'm really glad by the way that I'm showing you guys now what I'm selling here because I'm able to keep track of what I not, not keep track but get to document the stories of these because oh man these items you know they have stories to them. These were just thrown out. This, how much of this gets thrown out every year? Seven boxes of these calendars. It's crazy. Anyways, I'm getting off track. Um, I did lot together a, a big lot of coloring calendars and put those just out on YouTube or on eBay. And I think I even put it on auction, and it's sold for pretty well. Um, not as well as I thought I wanted, I think, but it was okay. When you get it for free, you can't really complain. Um, like I said in previous videos, it's stuff like this that paid for my upgrade on my eBay store, you know, so that I can put out 250, 500 listings before I start getting you know, extra charges or whatnot. So this stuff, it really helped out. Now I can buy some other inventory. Or get inventory from my girlfriend. <laughs> my girlfriend bought this uh, Nike Dry Fit sports bra and it didn't fit her too well. She tried on too small and uh, asked me if, if she just gave it to me. She's like, You want to sell this on eBay? And I said, Sure. Sold it for $14.95 plus $350. So this uh, is just a minor uh, example of networking in this game. I've noticed already that I've gotten some really great scores um, from people around me. When you start telling them, you know, your extra, your your side job is your eBay store, and then they say, "Well, I got a pile of stuff. You want to look at it?" Or especially, you know, some family members. My girlfriend gave me this um, to sell, but she also introduced me to her family members, and they had a. Our, they, I had a, she has a couple of cousins that we live by that re remodeled their whole house and had a pile of stuff they were getting rid of and then they asked me if I wanted it and I said yeah and I sold it for crazy you know a pots and pans they got rid of I sold for like 60 bucks I mean I made probably a couple hundred bucks off of this just from this little networking and telling them I, I have an eBay store and I'm always uh, selling stuff and I actually to repay them my, I plan on getting them a, a gift card and I, 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 that's kind of the next step here I, I think I pretty much sold everything out of the stuff they gave me and I'm gonna uh, give them a gift card and make sure that if they ever have any more stuff in mind or stuff to, to get rid of to keep me in mind Anyways, network, make some friends, talk about your eBay store. I, it might bring up some good conversation. Boom, another calendar. This one, uh, I don't think I have any extra stories about it. Uh, for some reason, I didn't, it, this one probably should have sold a lot earlier. I just didn't have it for sale, I, I think is what happened. So I had so many of those calendars, I didn't know what to do about them. I didn't know. You know, I didn't have the Amazon store started at the time. That probably would maybe would have been the better way to go. But I just started trying to list them on eBay, and it takes a while to try to list all those, even though I did have copies of a lot of them. There. But anyways, uh, this right here is an interesting little story. So um, these, I sold this for 11.50 free shipping. 
Now, I got this game case for free, dumpster diving, and the game I got, I, um, since I get so many of these game cases for free dumpster diving, I started looking on eBay for just people getting rid of a bunch of Nintendo DS games, like 20, 30 at a time. And this lot had a couple, quite a few games that I had the cases to. So I bought it, it was like 20 bucks. So I don't, I can't remember you know, what, it, what this would come out to, just this game alone. You know, it, I got like 30 games, so it was less than a dollar for this game, you know? And I sold it for 11.50. I paid for shipping handling, I guess. So in the end, paid three or four bucks and sold it for 11.50. Uh, boom! Now this is the first item that I sold of my Bulk.com unboxing. So if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure uh, I'll probably I'll put a pink I'll put a link below because um, that's one of my uh, best videos I've put out so far. It's really interesting because that's the first time I've bought inventory from my online store that's returns uh, bulk returns and I'm buying these online but kind of sight unseen they give you one picture just on top and they give you a manifest but the manifest gives you pictures of the things brand new they don't show you what the condition is so it's it's kind of half blind almost but um, in this scenario you guys I mean obviously check out the video but I, th I thought that it was a good buy. I thought there was a lot of stuff that I liked. Uh, if, if worst case scenario, I could keep for myself. And there's enough in there that I should be able to double my money. So, here's the start of it. And I, pay I paid $320 for like 70, 70 something items. So, I don't know what the math is on that on top of my head. But, uh, you know, let's we'll say it's a dollar an item, and I, and I sold this one right here for 35 bucks, and they paid for shipping. Um, it was brand new sealed. They did have one little, like, tiny, this tiny tearish in the plastic yeah. there, but I still sold it brand new because it was so minor. I, if somebody complained about it, then I would, whatever. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think they would. You know, it's just so minor. Uh, so. Boom, first, uh, first of the um, sales on the bulk.com order, if you saw that video. I'm going to try to keep track here, and uh, we're going to see when I finally made my money back, and we're going to see I should be doubling my money here within the next, like, sale. So, very exciting. Moving on. Uh, boom, another sale from that same lot. Um, I had got four of these brand new. Um, I didn't even didn't even take a picture of it. I used a stock photo. Four of these Xbox One Destiny Collection brand new sealed uh, in that bulk.com order. And the first one I sold for $27. Um, I'm kind of... I've been getting quite a few offers on this game as well, but they were like low-balling me for 15 and 10 bucks, and because I like to put on here the best offer option. I haven't really talked about that a lot, but I really do put this best offer on almost 99% of my items because a lot of times I got the item for free, so you know I'm willing to take almost anything, any profit when I got the it's really easy to get profit when the items are free is what I'm trying to say. This stuff was awesome. I mean, I, I guess I did pay for shipping and handling, so um, whatever, 24-ish bucks profit. Um, great, great score here. And I got four of these, so that was just the first one that sold out of that bulk.com unboxing, or bulk.com order. Boom, this right here, if you guys see, saw my previous videos, I showed you, or I told you that I got uh, oh, 10 at least of these boxes in a dumpster. I opened like this dumpster to a T-Mobile or some phone store, I believe. I think it has it on the back. Yeah, T-Mobile. 
and I saw like 10 plus of these boxes and I grabbed them and they a bunch of them had this, this the Apple stickers still in them so I actually kept the Apple stickers I'm gonna sticker slap them somewhere but all these boxes I've slowly been selling I, I pay for shipping so maybe I pay three to four bucks overall after shipping and eBay fees and I've been selling them for $9.50 a piece and I think this might be the last one I sold um, I think I do have two left but they're different than uh, um, this like 128 like the, the specs on this one where luckily I got eight of them with the same specs so it was really easy to list and I slowly was making five bucks or more five six bucks a piece on them times eight you know bam I at least picked up a $50 bill that night just by opening up that little dumpster lid uh, that was conveniently next to my um, spot that I like to go to. I, that's one thing as a dumpster diver you kind of find out like I definitely don't want to mess around any spots that have food that they're dealing with food so I gotta find these areas <laughs> you know it's, it's a whole thing and it's, it's it's really tough and you have competition too and it's just uh, really cool when you find just a random $50 bill or you know I say it's $50 bill I had to work to get that 50 a little bit but free inventory uh, pretty in pink I didn't even take a picture of it I used a stock photo I really don't think you're supposed to do that guys so <laughs> don't copy that I don't, you know, I'm not recommending that I think you're always supposed to take pictures um, because there's always some sort of copyright issues and I think I paid a dollar for this plus shipping and handling so two to three bucks sold it for six little doubling of the money not crazy uh, oh kind of a picture of some <laughs> now unfortunately I kind of broke my phone a while ago like just my outside camera but what's weird is it works if I'm aiming it down but when I start to aim it up every once in a while the pictures will come out blurry super lame and sometimes I don't catch it I didn't even catch it this time that this little part was blurry because it the wallflower part was okay but anyways I decided not to even retake a picture they still ended up selling um, wow where did I get these I really don't remember it's so weird because I know I didn't I feel like I didn't pay anything for these I really don't think I did I think I got these for free somewhere oh well even if I paid a buck for them, I still sold them for 12 bucks plus they paid for shipping. Uh, another new sealed DVD. Like I said, if you saw in my previous videos, I love going to Goodwills or wherever thrift store you go to and go on their half off days. They usually have one day a week, a, a week or maybe twice a month where they have half off. And I go in and try to just grab all the new sealed DVDs I can. I'll still search them. I mean, sometimes stuff isn't doesn't sell for great money, but for the most part, uh, when you're getting it a half off, you're getting it for a buck or something, and it's new sealed, you're gonna be double, tripling your money, and it's easy to list. You only you don't have to take two pictures, maybe three. So awesome little scores. They all add up. I just like to add those. This here. Where did I get this? I don't think I... Oh, I got this at a Goodwill outlet. It was seemed like it was a brand new guitar case. Had the had some guitar picks, straps. No guitar. Oh, I put the measurement there. I had this for sale for a long time. And I believe the problem I, that I had with my listing was I did not specify like what the size is. What, what I don't think I had this kind of measurement at all originally on on the uh, uh, guitar and or guitar case and people started questioning me finally somebody questioned me saying is this for like a small or a large or whatever and I didn't know so I actually realized I needed to put measurements on this guitar case and once I did I think it sold like within a month later after that so just a uh, little hint here, make sure you're always putting measurements on everything. It's, it's, 
I, it, you're definitely going to forget on a lot of stuff as well. And it, it, it always sucks when you have that somebody message you on eBay and you think it's a sale, but it's really just somebody message you saying, how, oh, what size is this? You know, I hate those. If you're an eBayer, like this video. If you hate it when somebody just sends you a message and you think it's an eBay sale, that's the worst. Anyways. I got this for like a buck or two and sold it for $30 and they pay for shipping. Not bad. <clears throat> Those Goodwill outlet stores, check them out if you got one near you. Another DVD, probably paid a buck for, sold it for six. A little doubling of the money, it was new sealed, I didn't even take any pictures of it. I uh, don't recommend it. <laughs> Moving on, we got some another sale from the bulk.com. Uh, if you're starting to sense a pattern, it's because that stuff started selling quick as, you know, almost as fast as I could list it. It was selling in a couple days. So and this is another item that sold right away as I listed it. J-Lab wireless earbuds, Bluetooth wireless earbuds, still in the box. Now, I did... I got quite a few of these headphones and I did take them out and, and really like look at them because uh, luckily I had watched some videos with some other resellers that had uh, talked about, I even made a comment about uh, making sure you check those tiny earbuds because if people just try them on and they <laughs> their ears are gross, all that grossness is getting in those earbuds. So. Um, luckily only I, I believe one of the earbuds that I got of the bunch of earbuds that I got in that whole bulk.com order were gross <laughs> so that's pretty good these ones look like they're still brand new I don't even think I tested them um, sold them new and they sold for $14.95 plus I paid for shipping so I made like 12 bucks on these so boom another 12 bucks added on to that bulk.com order and that's three items out of the 77 items that I got, 70 something. This here is the Men's Fitness Magazine. I don't know if I've showed you guys this in other uh, videos, but I got a box of these that a GNC threw away. I don't even know how many I have, probably 50 of them. And I only listed, you know, seeing 12 available, but I've sold Three. This is my third sale, so I don't know if I've mentioned it in a previous video, but um, it only costs. And this is another example, guys. If, if you're an eBayer, let me know if you can get around this. But I, sh you know, if I only, I could probably only sell this or ship this with like two or three stamps. But I have to do uh, media mail to get the tracking number, and that costs two sixty six. And uh, Anyways, it doesn't really bother me that much because even if I make a buck a piece on these, I got like 50 of them, and it's easy to list. Uh, maybe I should add some more pictures and stuff, but um, who cares? I got a box of them for free. Slowly been selling them. It's just a little tiny. It's, I know I'm only making a buck a piece on it. That's so kind of um, comical, but when you got 50 of them, it's just it's not bad when you have to put it in an envelope and put a shipping label on it and it just goes in with the rest of your shipments. This is a Moving on, I uh, got this, I think I got this at a garage sale, I think the same garage sale, I got that one mouse that I started with, got it for like 50 cents plus shipping and handling, so paid three, and sold it for $4.95, not, not crazy sales, it was another dollar or two item, but uh, I guess in the whole scheme of the garage sale, I mean, it's just a little more gravy. Uh, another one of those boxes, this must have been the last one I, I sold. Um, we already talked about that. Uh, boom, big shout out to Gary V right here. If you're sitting here like, no, I'm entrepreneur, I'm not just in the class, you need to seriously concentrate on where we are at this exact moment in the market and recognize how fruitful it is for you how much of an advantage you have, you may want to seriously consider and take advantage of it. Because it could really go away in a second. And then you've got to wait a, like, if it collapses tomorrow, if there's a bubble burst, you're gonna have to wait three to five years to get your shot. 
When bubbles burst, no <laughs> kid with an idea gets dick. Got it? That's a good one. Um, I like that one. If any of you guys watch the Gary V YouTube channel, you'll know he loves selling, reselling plush dolls. And I think I got this one. I think I got a bunch of them. It wasn't even just these two. I think I got a bunch of plush for like nothing. And uh, the Shrek and Fiona were in that bag of, of plush that I got and I sold them for $20. And Fiona wasn't even like, they weren't spectacular condition. Like she looked like, she, she looked like she had a little dirt on her nose or something. Um, I don't know if, I said mine or where. So kind of, I'm, I'm very vague with, I mean, I shouldn't say I'm vague. Um, you should really disclose what, uh, what's wrong with them, but. I guess it wasn't enough for me to get super descriptive. I made sure it had the measurements with them, the labels, all that. Something I got for almost nothing and sold it for 20 bucks. I paid for shipping and handling, but it's first class, so paid three or four bucks and sold it for 20. Awesome. Oh, this one's crazy. So this was literally like the first time I ever went to a Goodwill outlet for any retail arbitrage and this Star Wars is a vintage Star Wars puzzle new sealed and I did sell it for $20 and they paid for shipping and handling but this has been in my store for over a year it took over a year to sell this I believe I, I think I had it at $30 when I started and I very slowly just kept bringing the price down because I didn't really think I should. I really thought that there, you know, somebody would pay thirty dollars plus shipping handling for a vintage new puzzle, not even open yet. Um, didn't even have like anywhere really. But anyways, I got at the Goodwill outlet, so I really only paid a, maybe a dollar for it, maybe two, and turned it into twenty. Uh, another sale from the bulk.com order. Um, I'm gonna really try to get all those. I'm gonna really try to show all those on here so you guys can see when I finally double and or finally double and I'm hopefully. To I think I'll just no. I mean double. When I finally make my money back and double, that's what I meant to say. Um, this was, you know, another one of those seventy-something items that I got. Uh, sold it for eighteen. I paid for shipping, so. You know, I made 13 bucks on it, 13, 14 bucks or something. Uh, this is another replace. This is just a free game case that I got. Uh, dumpster diving, and I actually found a bunch of these. It's a very popular game, so that makes it a lot nicer when you list it, because if I get any more in, I, hopefully this isn't the last one, but I've sold nine of them so far, so obviously, it's something that comes up quite a bit, and I price this one slightly higher than other ones because it's such a popular one. Usually, my average, you know, my average price is like five bucks or something, but I price this one up a little bit more. I pay for shipping and handling two dollars and sixty-six, maybe, you know, three bucks after eBay fees, so make a couple bucks. But then it adds up when you get you get it for free, and you get a lot of them. And you can list it at once. Rest. This right here is another item from the bulk.com order. Have we made a hundred bucks now? I mean, we're at, this is a $25 item. Apple Watch Sport Band. Uh, there were four of these in that lot. Um, two of them were the same. The other two were a different measurement, I believe. But or maybe okay sorry three of them were the same I saw I listed three of them for 25 bucks and I also listed the other one for like 25 or 30 dollars um, like this is the first one I've sold so far even says they're available so obviously you'll see I, I've sold them all already I believe but that's a great sale I pay for shipping and handling but still I made over 20 bucks on that 
Oh, okay, this is the last item for today. This is also another item. I think if you guys remember in my bulk.com order, this was probably one of the coolest items that I got out of that whole lot. Um, I did not, uh, unfortunately, think that I was going to be getting a Nintendo Switch anytime soon, so I sold this. It was still brand new in the package, pretty much. I mean, everything was still sealed in there. The package had been opened, obviously, so I just sold it brand new, open box. Everything, pieces are still sealed. Um, sold it for $69.95, plus they paid for shipping and handling. And I believe it was first class, so that might have even been a little bit more than shipping and handling. So, awesome sale right there. You know, within a week, maybe a couple of days or, or so of, of that bulk.com order, we've already, what is that, 150 bucks? I don't know. I'll, I'll try to keep a little tally somewhere. But, anyways, that's the last item for this video, guys. Um, obviously this is a very long I just try to put on 30 items a couple of them are a little repetitive I'll try to take off some of those little DVD ones um, but I just wanted you guys to see I I try to bring up ones that really have a story to it I also I'm gonna definitely be bringing up all these bulk.com orders because that order really excited me and make sure you check that video out because I got like I said 77 items for 30 or it was $320 and they they suggest they said it retailed for $2,000 um, in the end um, after I'm looking at everything I'm it's more looking like I'm gonna double my money maybe a little more after that so we'll see how much more after that actually to tell you the truth I could have probably tripled my money on that order but I kept a few things, so that's okay. If I double my money and I keep a hundred bucks plus of stuff, cool with me. Awesome. I'm down with it. Should I make anyways, make sure you guys check out that video. I'll post a link below. My first unboxing of bulk.com returns. Um, do me a favor, guys. Um, get, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. Let me know if I should shorten them and maybe just give some points here. I, I just really want to tell this story and document this YouTube or document on YouTube this journey I've had so far, starting my business from scratch and growing it. And now look at this. I'm selling $70 items on the regular and that's it's just so crazy and I, I know I did pay up for this, these, these items here, but that's okay. I'm, this is an experiment right now, and uh, now that experiment turned into double my money, and I'm going to take that money and experiment it with something else. And It's a calculated risk, right? I, I'm, I'm not just throwing my money away at the casino or something. I'm, I'm really crunching the numbers before I bought this bulk.com order, and I after crunching every single number on that manifest they gave me I believe that I could easily make my money back or double it even though they suggested I could you know triple or quadruple it you know obviously that's unrealistic because that's the retail value and these items a lot of these items were damaged um, anyways I'm, I'm progress or I'm keeping track of that journey so uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe and like the bell so you can be the first one to hear about the story of, of uh, this journey. I appreciate the support, guys. Uh, this is Dalton with Dumpster Diamonds here. Um, growing the page to a thousand subscribers pretty soon. I'm really excited about it. Gonna keep putting out some good comment, make content. Make sure you comment, make and tell me what you want to see. Make sure you guys see my previous videos on the what sold for eBay what sold on my eBay store and uh, if you've done all that then go out and go resell something make some money tell me about it 
I want to know if you ended up uh, buying one of those bulk.com orders and you made a made a couple bucks, or if you or if it didn't work out for you. You know, I'm yeah. Maybe I uh, I I'll kind of think I'm starting. I got lucky on this one because I've been trying to shop for another one and it hasn't been looking too good. But anyways. I'll just keep rambling on guys. I gotta this is only part one of this. Stay tuned for part two. I'm gonna bring another 30 items out that I sold in December. December is the end of quarter four, biggest sales month of the year for me, so that's why I'm I'm showing you guys 60 items that sold. I did sell more much more than that, but um, 60 items that sold on eBay. This was just the first 30, alright? Appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for later. Or for part two, I should say, like and subscribe. Oh, and go make the world a better place.